Hello everyone, Ace here, and today the new trailer for episode Nagi the movie has dropped, and with it we got a release date, but also we got an insight to what will the movie cover, and so in today's video I will be going frame by frame and explain everything we saw in the trailer, but I understand that there will be a lot of anime only fans, and so I will try to keep the spoilers light, however I can't go about explaining this trailer without entering the spoilers territory. And so please be mindful of that, and now without any further ado, let's jump in. The trailer starts with this scene where Nagi is sleeping in his classroom then waking up, and also we can hear Igo Jinpachi in the background narrating what this movie is about. And actually this first scene of Nagi being bored alludes to something bigger, and into an amazing lesson that the episode Nagi wants to teach us. But more on that later. We then cut to the famous staircase scene where we see a new shot of Nagi leaping forward and catching his phone with his foot. This gorgeous new scene was actually so reassuring, and that's due to the bad production of the second part of the anime. As you all know Blue Lock has an amazing manga with an insane art, and the first part of season 1 really captured that. However, the second part was just like luster and downright bad, and so seeing that the movie will be with this amazing quality, I'm really relieved and I'm really happy. We then see Ryo being so amazed by Nagi and invites him to play soccer with him. However, the trailer then cuts to a scene where Ryo is playing and Nagi is watching, and this is what the point was about. As the writer of Blue Lock explained in an interview, the Nagi Ryo friendship is actually one sided and that got a lot of people thinking that it is from Ryo's perspective only. However, as we came to discover in the Nagi episode, it is Nagi that thinks of Ryo as his friend. You could say he saved him from his boredom, and so he cares about him a lot. Ryo on the other hand thinks of Nagi as his possession, his treasure, and this is actually rooted deeper in Blue Lock. Now, as a lot of you might know, Blue Lock has a lot of personality traits in his characters. For example, the egoist, the hardworking, the talented, the genius, and even the meathead. As for Ryo, he represents the spoiled mentality, the guy that will burn everything if things don't go his way. Obviously, this will be explored in episode Nagi, however, I don't think that it will in this movie, as when we get to predicting what this movie will cover, you will see that it might not be included. But anyways, carry on with the trailer. We see Ryo stalking Nagi and trying to convince him to play soccer. As any normal human being, Nagi did not accept immediately as he doesn't even know who Ryo is. However, Ryo was persistent and we can see it here. Then we cut to a scene where Ryo is playing against a team and it seems that Ryo's skills are really shining. Which I gotta say they got animated very true to the original source, but with an amazing fluidity. And then we cut to Nagi actually playing and he is as amazing as ever. But also his talent and genius still bring despair to everyone he plays against. As we see this player really shocked of what he is seeing. But also he screams, is this what it means to be a genius? And I want to say that this player who shows up again with his team later in the trailer will play a huge role in Nagi and Ryo's development. You could say he is their Kira, not in personality and skill, but in that he represents the old Japanese football system. We then cut to a scene of the World Cup's trophy, which obviously represents Ryo's desires, but also we then cut to a scene where he tells Nagi that he will make him the best in the world, while Nagi looks as uninterested as ever, but then he gives a hopeful look to Ryo, which again confirms what I was saying about the one-sided friendship. It really seems like Nagi cares about Ryo, while Ryo cares about what they can do together. Then we cut to a very interesting looking old lady, which resembles the butler of the Zoldic family in Hunter x Hunter. And actually Nagi also resembles Kilwa, and I find this easter egg really cute. But anyways, the lady presents the invitation from Blue Lock to Nagi and Ryo, as we cut again to the scene from episode 1, where Igo Jinpachi explains what the Blue Lock project is about. However, this time we see it from Ryo and Nagi's perspective, which brace yourself for as it hit them differently, and we even got more intel from Mr. Jinpachi on Nagi's ego, which is crucial for our understanding of his character, but I won't say more to avoid spoilers. After that, we get a montage of what we can expect will happen in the movie. As it stands, it seems like the movie will be covering the first selection from Nagi's perspective, which means the games against Team W, X, Y, and Z but also their first game that happened before the start of the Blue Lock project, and the games that followed up to the start of the series, and how their relationship formed after that and throughout the games that happened before we got to see them in the main show, as well as how they met Zontetsu and who did they eliminate in the first knockouts. 
Now as you all know, Team Z is the team that ended Ryo Nagi's win streak, but also Team X represents a very important milestone for Nagi, as his face off with Baro marks the start of Nagi's growth towards the man that we know today, but also it plays another role in that Baro is the exact opposite of Nagi, and this is why I hope this movie covers the second selection, because Baro's awakening was very different from Ryo and Nagi's perspective. And actually we got a confirmation for this, where we see the fist bump that Isigi and Nagi had, but also when Nagi let go of Ryo to play with Isigi. However, I don't know if this means that we will reach the 3 vs 3 game and we'll only focus on the first selection, with this scene of Nagi going with Isigi being the closing moment of the movie, and the cliffhanger for the second movie which will probably cover the second and third selection. However, that's neither there nor here, as for the trailer, we got more remade scenes of the first selection, which I gotta say look very amazing. The aura looks more amazing here and the animation seems very fluid, which for a sports anime is actually all we could ask for. The trailer then closes off with one of Nagi's most insane goals, which he scored on the Omari's club and cemented himself as the prodigy we know from the start of the show. But with this we reach the end of the video guys, I will drop another one in quick succession so stay hyped. Until next time, thank you for watching.